title of the conference. So we still have a moment. Hi. Sorry. Oh, yeah. Hi. Um, so we all start off at home. And this is, this is before the journey started, before the, the, the project has started. And when we're at home, we have our families or our friends or our home situation is comfortable. And on the Hero's journey, there, there are two things that happen kind of at the same time. Um, and it, there's always this tension between the inner journey and the outer journey. And it's the same kind of thing with the story arcs, the inner, our own story arc and then the outer kind of thing. The, the, the thing that happens is there is, um, there is some kind of a call to action uh, in Star Wars. The call to action is that, oh, you know, the, there, there are plans with the Death Star, there's this, this talk of this horrible Death Star that's going to explode planets and, and Darth Vader and the Emperor and all this kind of bad stuff that's going to happen and we've got to defend the universe against that. So that's the external call to action. And then something happens internally as well. There's some internal thing which, which says, oh, actually it's time to leave home. You see this in Star Wars at the point where like, Luke Skywalker is called into action, he meets Obi-Wan, you, you know all of Star Wars, right? He meets everyone and everyone goes like, oh yeah, you know what, you, you're, you're the son of a Jedi and you really ought to go and, you know, kick ass in the universe and stuff. And he goes, oh, I don't know. Oh, okay, here. He goes home and he finds that his adoptive parents, his uncle and aunt, have been murdered by the, um, the, 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 death, the death squad of, of Darth Vader. And he goes, oh. And then you see this scene of him looking at the twin sons in the distance. Goes, ba -ba 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 -ba. It's very sad. And then he decides to go find everyone and leave. And so it's his personal call to action as well. It's like, oh, I've got nothing left here. There's no challenge here anymore. Um, so I may as well go. So these two things, the internal and the external. And so this is call to action, and the hero leaves. And the hero goes on this journey, and, and well, I'll talk about what's on this journey, but it goes to some kind of a goal. Uh, for Indiana Jones, his goal is often retrieving some ancient relic um, which, is, which is being defended by Nazis. So we have the evil people of the Nazis, for Indiana Jones, and what he wants is to, is to rescue some kind of relic and, and retrieve that. So his goal is the relic. But along the way, there's also a personal transformation. For Indiana Jones, he often falls in love or, or, or settles a score or like reconnects with his father or whatever in different movies. I'm not going to mention the Crystal Skull because that was an awful movie. <laughs> there's no point to that at all. In Star Wars, Luke Skywalker grows from being a naive boy with, with who's kind of whiny and like, oh, I don't want to go to space. And he turns into this sort of ass-kicking Jedi dude who's, who's like jumping around and doing sort of stuff. And, and he, he's, he's grown up, he's discovered things about himself, and he's reconciled with his father, and there's that whole thing. So we've got the goal. The goal is like you're retrieving the relic, creating a thing, um, saving the universe. But then we've also got the personal journey, which is, which is sort of discovering something, expecting to have some maybe small personal change. So we've got the goal here. I'm going to draw the, the, the holy grail there. Holy grail. holy grail. And then once you've got the holy grail, you've got to bring it back. You've got to bring it back home. And then there's the journey back. And uh, the journey back is usually faster than the journey there. Um, but it's still significant, we often forget about that. And my parallel to a project is this usually is, is the release of the product. We're like, okay, out of beta, or, or even into beta, but out of alpha, you know, it's public release of what we're doing. We're like, yeah, we released it. It's there. And now what? Actually, there, there's a whole, things have changed. Our responsibilities, our way of looking at the world, the way people look at us has changed on the way back. We, we now know a lot about this, but we're going to discover more on the way back. And we're kind of taking this back, and then, then maybe the project is actually here, right? This is the, the borderline of, the, of where we live, of our home, of where we came from. So we come back here, come back home, and we're, we're back where we were before, but we've changed in some way as well. And the people that we know at home, our family or our community or whatever, they, they may welcome us back, but they don't necessarily, they don't know what we've been through. They don't know what we've seen or what we've endured on the way. And so we got some changes, and that might surprise them, but it also might be confronting in some way. On the way, 
various things happen. Uh, there's, a, there's a really important thing that happens, kind of, let's say it happens here. You've got the character of the mentor. Now, there may be more than one mentors, but this is somebody from outside of the project who, who gives some kind of information or a gift of some sort, uh, some insight. And uh, the reason I mention that is because uh, quite often on projects we get a bit kind of you know, insular, we don't really want to take advice from other people. I know I don't. I've got all the answers. But actually it's good to remember that there are mentors out there, there are people who'd love to give all sorts of advice, you don't need to take that advice, but it may be offered. Uh, the mentor quite often gives some kind of a gift, and this gift often turns out to be useful in what might happen here, which is an ordeal. Um, in Star Wars, one of the ordeals is, uh, it's, ordeal is kind of facing death in some way, or facing the shadow, facing something difficult. Uh, in Star Wars, you got Luke gets sucked into the trash compactor kind of thing. He's gone. It's like, oh, where's this? You know, and then he comes back. Um, but there are other ordeals as well. He's got to fight his father. That's an ordeal. Um, ordeals on a software project. Wow. There can be all sorts of things. Um, I, I, I imagine there are things to do with, like, we've suddenly realized there's a need to refactor, or there's some kind of performance issue, or there's some kind of architectural thing we hadn't realized. Or a competitor comes along from outside. That, that we hadn't realized to start with, and that changes, the environment's changed. We've got to change our plans. And that's going to cause extra work for a while to kind of catch up with that, or, or re, you know, re, refiguring out what we're going to do. So there are going to be various ordeals. The cool thing about ordeals, though, is that, um, at least in the mythical story, the gift from the mentor helps with the ordeal. The mentor, um, th there's a... It's what's called Theseus or Theseus or something. I, I, I'm kind of lost on the Greek stuff. But anyway, he gets a gift from his mentor of a magic mirror and uses that to see Medusa so he can cut Medusa's head off without being turned to stone. So the gift, this is a tie in. I'm not saying they're going to tie in on an average software project, but you never know. There's <coughs> some kind of linkage going on there. There are other characters you might see. Um, there are the characters of tricksters. Now, tricksters are kind of fun because. It's all that fun stuff. The trickster represents all that fun stuff that's very distracting from the path we're on. We know we've got a path to be on. We know where we're going. But there are also distracting things. It might be distracting technology that we get sort of sucked into or, or communities which are very, very interesting. And we can kind of justify that they're useful, but really they're not. It's a seductive kind of thing. It's like, if, if you know the story of... Um, uh, is, that, is that the Odyssey or something? With, with the sirens on the rock. I said, oh, sirens come with mostly women and, and stuff. And, and you've got to, the idea is you've got to resist that. You've got to notice that and resist it. Uh, there are other kinds of trickster as well. But usually the, 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 the spirit of it is it's something fun. And it's not that the project shouldn't be fun, but it's the kind of fun that distracts you from your purpose. So that, that's the trickster. Um, Talk about the shadow. The, sh the shadow is like the, you know, the dark side. It could be the dark side of us. Um, my shadow on software projects in the past has been, uh, has been having an overly complex vision for some kind of architecture or something like that. Oh, we, oh this isn't good enough. We have to reinvent this and it's, it's got to be complex because that's important or something like that. And actually, so part of my journey is, is the fight with that dark side because we want to make it simple, we want to make it so that everyone can understand it and get into it and be productive with it to actually achieve the goal. So it's another distraction from the goal. Um, and maybe a mentor would help me fight with that. Help me fight with it. Oh, guess what? This is overly complicated. I'm like, oh, okay, you're right. How far can we fix that? Um, any questions so far? You find this interesting? Yeah. yeah. Uh, okay, so we have allies as well, 